Yo, what's up guys, I am back again with another video, and for today's video, we're pretty much going to be doing a tier list for Deep Woken. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and yeah, enjoy the video. So, as I just said, we are pretty much going to be doing a tier list on the magics that are currently on Deep Woken. Now, before I actually do this video, there's a few things I want to say. First, if I'm being straight honest with you, nothing in this tier list is B or below. Nothing is B and below. Another thing I like to state out is, yes, I don't have the shadow icon, so I had to make my own. It's kind of ugly, but, you know, I tried my best to make it really fast. It's kind of similar. I had to copy the flame one, just I just contracted it. But, yeah, that's pretty much going to be all I have to say, so let's just wait to the video. So, the first magic we have is Thunder Call. Now, Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. Before I say anything, if I'm being honest with you, this is probably between S and A. Now, hear me out first. The reason why I'm putting it between S and A is because I haven't seen a lot of people use this specific magic. And before I say anything else too, i like to note out that I'm basing all my knowledge of what I've seen in the game so far. This game has only released in like 4 days, so I've only been playing it for 4 days. I don't know much about almost all the magics fully. But from what I'm seeing from videos and from other people using it, I can determine how good it is off of my opinion. So, like I just said, this is definitely between an S or an A. So, if I'm being honest with you, if there was like an A+, plus, I'll put that there. The reason why I'm putting it around there is because I haven't seen a lot of people using it. Now, if I don't see a lot of people using it, that would just suggest that it's not the best magic to use in this game but at the same time it's not the worst because i do see some people using it and if even the people that are using it it's really good now like i just said it really depends on how you're using the magic if you're using the magic wrong it's not going to work in your favor and it's just going to be trash but if you're using it good it's just good now another thing i like to say is that it really depends on how you're using the magic any of these magics on the tier list if you're using them the right way they'll work good another thing i like about deep Woken is how they don't have like one magic that's oh this one's clearly superior than the other one they're all kind of balanced in their own way so the game's equally fair and everyone can have a variety of different magics it's not kind of like um other games like gpo where oh this is powerful devil fruit i need to get this to get strong but then this is other weak one oh i don't want that Deep Oaken is the complete opposite about that, which I absolutely love. So yeah, if I'm being honest, this is definitely around an A+, plus if there was a ranking for that. Yeah, I don't really think I can change it, but yeah, that is definitely an A+. Plus. Now, we got Wind. Now, Wind is definitely an S. Now, Wind, I have a lot to say about Wind. Wind already got nerfed. I don't know if you guys know about the Wind Gun move, but that move was absolutely broken in the game. That the developers had to take charge and actually nerf the move. Now, it doesn't mean that the move is completely bad now. Wind is still really elite. But the funny thing I just find about the move is that the move, the wind gun move, I think there's videos up on YouTube. You guys can check it out. The wind gun move was absolutely broken. And honestly, wind is just a really good um magic. If I, I have it, it's actually pretty good. There's a lot of good moves in it. And personally, I feel like it's probably one of the best. But like I just said, it's my opinion. It's not, there's no really best magic in this game. So yeah, personally, I believe that um, Wind is definitely the best. It has a lot of different variety ways you can use it. You can also use it for dashing. Um, I think one of the moves I have, Gale Lunge, you can use that while dashing down staircase so you can move faster or just dashing down straight. But yeah, um, one more thing I actually like to talk about is definitely has to be Wind Gun. I think that's right. That's here, right? But yeah, wing gun. So this move, I know I just said it. It was, it was just broken. It was just broken. The funny thing about it is that a lot of people were finding about this. I think two or one days ago. I don't know when it got nerfed, but I know it got nerfed two days ago or one day ago. But a YouTuber actually released a video on it, which I want you all to check because it just shows how broken the move is. But you know, it's nerfed now, but it's you know. It still doesn't mean that it's the worst move. So now we're going to move on to Ice. Now Ice definitely has to be an A. Now I haven't seen a lot of people use Ice. And personally I felt like Ice would be like broken from my understandings from GPO's Ice. Because you know Ice has stuns. Like if it has stuns you can get easy M1s and easy combos. But then I'm starting to realize that this game kind of doesn't work 
around that criteria. But at the same time, I haven't seen a lot of people even use ice to be honest with you. So yeah, it's definitely around the A plus range around Thunder. You know, it's not the worst. It depends on really how you use it. But I definitely believe over time when the game keeps like progressing, I'm definitely gonna see way more ice uses in my opinion. Because I always felt like from the beginning that ice was gonna be really broken. So but when I found out a lot of people have it, I was like, alright, that's kind of weird. But you know, I feel like over time a lot of people are gonna be realizing, okay, ice isn't even that bad. Let me try it. So next we are gonna move on to flame now. I don't even need to say anything. This is an S. This is an S. This is an S. Now Flame has many varieties, it has a decent amount of moves, it has some really strong combos, on top of that it even has an after effect which is a burn, Flame is just really good, you know, I've seen a lot of people use Flame in this game which you might be like shocked by that and not a lot of people using Ice, but yes a lot of people do use Flame in this game, Flame definitely has a lot of good combos, a lot of different varieties, even a lot of the testers of the game use Flame. So definitely, Flame has to be definitely top tier list. But you know what I'm saying? It, it really depends on how you use it. Yes, there's going to be trash Flame users, obviously. So if you use the, um, the magic right, it's definitely going to work in your favor. So finally, we got Shadow now. Shadow is definitely a mystery right now, this game. Because not a lot of people have it. Now, I'm probably going to move it to an S. Now, hear me out. The reason why I'm going to move it to an S is because Shadow's requirements to even get it is absolutely ridiculous. So the first thing you're going to have to do is kill yourself two times. Once you kill yourself two times, you're going to be sent to the depths. Once, And let me tell you something, the depths is no easy place. Now, personally myself, I have escaped from him. I was around power 8 and I got sent there by accident because I died off of some NPC. Actually, not from NPC, from a player. But once I got there, I actually watched a few videos on how to escape. And I, yes, I did end up to escaping, but I didn't get shadow on the way there. But the depths is definitely a like it's not really a place you want to be. There's a lot of bosses, a lot of NPCs, and even the players. You gotta watch out for players because for some reason, people in that area don't have a heart. They will absolutely kill you if they see you. If especially if you're AFK out of nowhere, they will see you and they will will show no remorse and they'll kill you. Now the requirements for shadow itself that you have to kill five sharkos i believe once you kill those five sharkos well before that you have to get the quest from this lady who's in the town um within the castles once you get that you're gonna have to get the quest and then you're gonna have to get five sharkos once you get five sharkos which is from the specific boss in the game i think y'all already probably already know what that is but once you get those you go back to her and then you will reach the requirements for a shadow now the hard part about shadow is partially the bosses but then at the same time it's the way you approach it now there's a lot to say about shadow if you do if you want to get shadow as soon as you start from the game you're gonna get sent straight to the depths now i do not know any noobs currently in this game who has shadow if i'm being straight honest with you if you want to try to get shadow you have to at least be power 30 and up because the depths is not a place you want to reckon with, and the amount of bosses are there, you can easily die if you're a low level. Now, you have two decisions. Either one, you instantly go to the depths as a low level, and then you try to progress around there. Or, you become a high level, and I believe you can get second magics in this game. But once you become a high level, you go to the depths, you get all the requirements, and then you get shadow. Now, the next step is escaping, because escaping is a whole nother thing you have to realize someone has told me and they actually reached out on me that telling me that once you become a higher level escaping the depths actually becomes a lot harder and you know it's like it's like i don't know because honestly escaping is definitely worth it but if i'm being honest with y'all there's really not much to say about escaping you just got to be careful if you're not careful you're gonna die and once you get die you're pretty much gonna be sent to the afterlife and that area, the only way you can escape from there is paying a thousand Robux so you can go back. Now, if I'm being straight honest with you, do not do that. If you are not at least power 50 and up and you got sent there, if you're 50 and up, then do it. If you're not 50 and up, do not do it. You can, well, I'm not going to say easily, but you can definitely regain all the levels that you lost. And I really don't want to see you guys like, just wasting it because it's the only, you can only use it one time in this whole lifetime in this game 
only one time you can use it so you definitely have to use it when you're actually super high level and then you just like you died from something you know but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for this video if you guys this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and yeah